What up? It's your boy Jago Senpai in the house today. We're gonna be doing Ominous Sin Reader episode six, seven, and eight. So this is gonna be pretty fire, dude. Where we left off, you know, Doja he threw the fucking insects to the floor or something, and we don't know who's gonna survive at all. And then we fucking see Nawoon Kim and Doja, they're gonna not face off, I guess, but they were talking to each other. So I wanna see right there, like, is he gonna join the squad or what does Doja know about him so far? You know that he could like you know like overcome the obstacle of him because he look he's looking like the bad guy of this level or this mission so far so there's a lot of shit that's gonna happen dude and i can't wait guys but guys without further ado let's get this shit started this episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers oh yeah i see a lot of dead bodies and some fool in the background just chilling right here 3707 oh is this the badass from the last train you know like the last train Station thingy, you know, you know what I mean? All right, he's walking like a badass already, but let's check it out. Where did it go? It was right here just now. And he looks like he's killing people. Move it. Move. I'm going to catch it. Ominous and reader. All right. Episode six, chapter one, the beginning of the paywall, part five. Sorry, I work alone. All right, Doja and Kim right here. Well, that's a bummer. If I team up with Nawum Kim, my survival will be guaranteed for now. Yeah, I think so too, dude. Based on what you know, you should just do it, but uh, if you got another idea, Dojo, let's see. If I haven't read TWSA, I probably would have had made a different choice. Yeah, you probably would might have died, but uh, I am a reader who knows about him and his future, and after seeing him in person, then get out of my way. I have some unfinished business with that granny. My boy, I thought you killed her ass already, you know? Like, damn. I can't let the bug I caught escape from my grasp. You're a savage, dog. Killing granny like that? All right, Dojo, about time. Dojo with the grip, right? He's like, nah, bro, chill. What? Are you trying to act like a hero now? Or do you have a split personality? Jeez. You know it. You know it alls are all the same. Look at Dojo. He's like, bro, like, I do know it all. You know, I read the whole damn thing. And no one did except him. I realized how much I hated his character in TWSA. You'll think you'll be a teenager forever, right? <laughs> his face, though. People like you make me sick. Naum Kim despises you your affinity towards the womb kim has slightly decreased i said move okay he took him look at you you're not half bad i knew you would make that move this guy is exactly how i imagined he would be yeah how about this but what is that like a power or is it just a regular you know fist you know that's what i'm wondering that's the skill of the edge lord attribute okay what he's doing grid mark Awakening level one. Actually, look at his nails, dude. Like, whew. He's already activated his skills. Okay, Doja. You better activate another skill that ain't reading, my boy. What's this? I'm so fucking strong. So wait, that means he's not part of the TWSA? He's a real character then? This is probably why the protagonist still recruited him, although he's a psychopath. See, then you're actually recruiting him too, you know? Your understanding of the wound Kim has increased. Should I use that now? What are you going to use? You have unlocked level one of your personal skill, Ominous and Reader Viewpoint. Huh? Ominous and Reader Viewpoint. What exactly is that? That's the title of the whole series, but let's see. Damn it. Where did all the fucking insects go? What's going on? Ooh, did he hit him again in the arm? Ah, fuck. Yeah, you're taking the beating by Noon Kim. Why aren't you getting hit? Try all you want, but you won't be able to hit me. Level level one of Ominous and Reader's viewpoint activated. So he could swerve because he's seeing them or what? Right shoulder? Is so that is that I'm I'm assuming that's telling you where he's gonna aim. Yeah, I think so. Whoosh in the face, yeah. Okay, that's that's a sick attribute though. But he's barely like, you know, like he's barely ducking them. As soon as my second skill, Ominous and Reader viewpoint was activated. Oh nice, he stopped it. I knew what he was going to do. It was like I could read his mind. Oh, fucking hell, you slimy little jerk. Yeah, you're going to be done then, Nguyen Kim. But all I could do is dodge his attacks. Retaliating is impossible. I just need to hold on a little longer. So you're holding on because of that one dude that's coming from 3707. Two minutes left, kid. Fuck. Damn, that should have been feeling like an eternity, though. No cap. Glare. Ooh. If that old lady dies, the moon Kim will clear the scenario, and you don't want that. Whatever happens, I can't let someone like Kim move on to the next scenario. So you're gonna grab Granny, 
bro, what are you getting out, out of your pocket, though, you know? A Glock? Bro, a knife? I knew you would make that move. Heart. Oh, how are you going to duck this? Oh, my boys, he's rocking sandals. Okay. Didn't expect that. Skill. Skill knife fighting level one. Oh, and he took it again on the arm. Oh, it hurts. It feels like my skin is burning. Now that I think about it, he's a military geek. All bad. Creek. All right. Let me find out Granny's dead, dog. If Granny's dead, that's a now. Death is just around the corner. If I lose to Namoon Kim, am I going to die here too? This is world. This is a world that is simply based on survival of the fittest. No, the world has always been like this. Yeah, according to the law of the jungle, the strong prey on the weak. And so this is when my boy Dozier was getting punked on. All right, yep. And this too, you know, nothing has really changed. Rather than rule has just become clearer. Yep. I must also adhere to that rule if I want to survive. Come on, Mr. Smarty Pants. You don't even have the strength to run anymore. Do me a favor and let's just get this over with. We're running out of time. All right, Doja. If I hesitate, Nawoon Kim's second year student of Cheong Hill High School is an insect egg, also an organism? What the hell are you starting to talking about? The answer is, oh, he got another one? I will die. Yes. So he killed the insect. You obtained 100 bonus coins. You had killed a living organism. You obtain 100 bonus coins. You Wait, so he's he got like a little life hack or what? Like he killed the one with living. So he killed the mama, basically. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, he's still pissed off. You have obtained coins. Would you like a tutorial on coin usage? I mean, is it going to be fast? Like, you know, less than three seconds, probably skip. And I will invest 2,700 coins in my stamina. So is he going to get a boost then? Like a level up or what? Fuck, to level 10. Okay, this is cool. Coin system. Stamina level has been considerably enhanced. Your physical durability has greatly increased. Yeah, he dodged it. Okay. Clang. My boy, you Superman or what? What how? Grasshoppers lay more than 100 eggs at time during mating season. You would know that, you know? What? I'm not the one who's going to die. Please. Damn it. Where is it? My boy, those are looking at you, boy. Looking pretty stunning. You are. 57 seconds. Ha. Nawoon Kim is scared and nervous now. Okay. Fuck. Die. Die, you asshole. Why won't you die? Because he's Superman now, bruh. Ah. Damn. That's what's up. Four seconds. Two. Your time has run out. Proceeding with checkout. Ah, no. Ah. Damn, so Nawoon Kim is dead, dead? Main scenario, prove your value has ended. Number of survivors in cabin 3807 of train number 3434 to Bowang, five. So only five people survived. Yikes. Now that's the shit I don't like. Now this is fascinating. Okay, this episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. Now this is fascinating. What is that? What in the world happened here? Ooh. The Dokabai. Oh, so he left for 10 minutes then. Okay, Dokabai. What's up, bruh? It's been a minute, you know, a couple chapters. I was only gone for a minute, but look at all this mess. This was all happy though. Alright, this has to be Doja with his fresh ass shoes. Five people. Okay, how did this fool survive? That's my question. The lieutenant, I, I need to find out how you did. Doja, Tonga, okay. The boy, you had to survive because you know. I think you might be the sidekick on this one, but shout out to you for the fucking insects, all right? Main scenario number one, prove your value has increased. Number of survivors in cabin 38-7, a train number 34-34 to Bolgrang, five survivors. So that's them. Kion Song Lee, Sangha Yu, Gilion Lee, Miyongo Han, Nawoon Kim died, wow. I did not expect that one. I thought he was gonna actually stay. Fuck, oh, dude. Can't please. Can't believe he died. There it is. Look, 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 look. Doja Kim, the MVP. Help me. Is it him? Please help me. I'm begging you. I wouldn't. Why should I? People's lives are important, so it's only right that you save me. Bro, shut up. You were killing granny. That's how things are were in the old world. You said so yourself. A new world needs new rules. No, I don't want to die. Please help me. Ah, he died. And my boy Doja, look at him. He's a knob fan. You dead, dead. That's what's up, Doja. You're right. I am just like you. I could have saved those people. You could have? 
I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel guilty, but it's strange. This is crazy, okay? How am I able to remain so calm? Bro, let me find out. Use a couple coins for your calm level, you know? <laughs> it feels like I'm just reading the novel instead of actually partaking in it. Let me find out. This is the main character, you know, in the novel as well. You slaughter 124 living organisms. One grasshopper and 123 grasshopper eggs. Yikes. How I'm clean. Oh, it's on the glass. Oh, snap. Due to killing non-resistant organisms, the number of coins you obtain has been halved. So he has 6,200 coins. The coins you use to level up your stats will be deducted? Why? You have obtained 3,500 coins. You have unlocked the achievement decimator due to excessive slaughtering. Damn. You have obtained 300 coins as a basic clear reward. This would be cool, like notification bing bings, you know. 100 coins have been deducted for the channel usage fee. Damn, you motherfuckers be using a channel usage fee? Wow. These will still try to make money any way possible. Additional rewards will be calculated. All right, Songa, there it is. The whole squad, the gang gang. The world we once knew was collapsed, and a new world is being born. Oh, it's moving. We can go now. And I am. What the fuck is this? It's like a cobra or something. A cobra dragon? What in the world? My god. Now, this is fascinating. That's the call by then. The. Only reader who knows the squad how this world will end. So the Kaibai knows, okay. Episode 7, Chapter 2, the protagonist. What is that? That cobra thing? Oh, this shit looks beefy. It's like a cobra, dragon, snake, sea dragon, you know? And he's about to destroy this bridge. Why are we stopping again? Ah, it's coming for us. Oh, it isn't? That snake like monster is called a. Ichisor? It's also known as a sea serpent. Okay, so we're just calling it a sea serpent. Later on, it will be classified as a grade 7 monster in TWSA. Is that, is that weak or what? What on earth is that? The world of TWSA prioritizes scenarios over everything else. So we'll, we won't be attacked by any creature unless they are part of the scenario. I don't think he's part of the scenario. We're safe for now. And the cover just pulled up. 1, 2, 3, 21. There are 21 in total. No wonder he's so happy. The number of stars signifies the number of constellations that are logged into the channel. Constellations. They are the most mysterious beings in TWSA and the masterminds behind this tragedy who live streams the scenarios from across the universe. What the fuck? In other words, they are the ones who watch the Kawai channel. So the Kawai is like what? TV? A TV recorder? Or recording them or what? This channel had 21 views, which is a lot for a newbie to Kawai. He's just dying of happiness. In the original story, Nawoon Kim killed almost everyone in this cabin. Man, so he didn't even make it right here. Due to the death of Nawoon Kim, two constellations feel slightly hostility towards you. So most likely they know about the story. Some constellations must be furious about the outcome. And this error probably happened because I killed Nawoon Kim. Due to an unexpected scenario inspectation, your payment is being delayed. That's fucked up, dog, just because he survived, you know? Fishing from how the constellations' preference are popping up, I guess this is officially the beginning of the story. It's just unbelievable. I was in their position yesterday, but now they are the ones watching me. For real, didn't, didn't think of it like that. A few constellations are impressed with your scenario. The constellations that get to you 500 coins. Of course, if there are constellations who hate me, there are also constellations who support me. True, you got haters and lovers, you know? I hope all you enjoy the show, because sooner or later you'll end up paying the admissions fee with your lives. What the fuck? Dojo, are you okay? Sangha. It's cute, cute. I just survived those Sangha, you know? I'm sorry I couldn't say the old lady. Uh, she was dead before anyways, you know? Doja, how are you so? Pardon? It's nothing. Thanks for earlier. You threw the cage towards me. Oh. That's just a coincidence. You lying. It won't happen again. Dang, my boy. City boy's up. Nah. And he got a little dagger on him? Okay. I don't know what she's thinking, but she was smart enough to survive this chaos. She probably understood what I said. Because of my choice, some, li some lived while some died. I don't deserve the gratitude of those who survived. Wow, so did you, did you all prove your worth? I see there are many survivors. Look at the little Kawa looking all cute and shit. <laughs> oh my, thank you for the sponsorship deal, Constellations. I can't believe there are 21 Constellations watching my channel. There are 5 survivors, that's more than I thought there would be. I expected Hyung Song Lee to survive since he's strong and athletic. Okay. Jiang Lee, that must be his name. Yeah, you gave, you better have given him one, you know? Damn, poor sad boy, you know? Okay. So what? Hey, kid. Do you want to live? This is a sympathy. If I had to use a word to describe this, then let's team up. He knows something about the sidekick, you know, the kid. He is only. Ooh, sock check. 
It would be hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. If the constellations are impressed with your good deed, the constellations had gifted you 200 coins. Even though it seems shameless, it can be helped because I too want to live. Considering the, the events that will follow, I have to get the attention of the constellations. A lot of interesting things happened today. The guy in the next cabin was also a total nutcase. Then are you going to let us go now? But I want to see the guy from the nutcase, you know? And lastly, Mr. Myongho Han. He's one lucky guy. Yeah, after you try to bribe him. Why did everything you asked for? We did everything you asked for. Hmm, let you go. Haven't you seen what's going on outside? But why was he even taking the subway from what I know? He's very well off. He went around every department to brag about his new Mercedes. He's in debt. Are you sure you want me to let you go? The guy's like, yeah, I'll let this fucker go. Roar. Look at that sea serpent, you know? Uh, anyways, I'm impressed. I didn't have any expectations for you for this cabin, but you all survived the first scenario. You have proven that even bugs deserve to survive. Sick ass well. That means we're nothing but grasshoppers to him. Yep. Of course, every hardship deserves a reward. The reward for the first scenario is that you are now qualified to be sponsored by constellations. Exciting, right? Look at little Kavai. Look at this fool. I like how there's lights, you know, reflected him, you know, making him more bright. What's this? None of you seem excited at all. This is a pretty big deal, you know? They're all like, what the hell is that? Of course they don't know. I'm the only person who knows what a constellation or sponsor is. Let me break this down for you. All of you are terribly so weak right now. If you were to just move on to the next scenario in this state, you would be killed by a weak round rat, let alone a cruck. What's a cruck? But there are great beings in the world who pity you and wish to sponsor you. That's fucked up. Do you understand? What is that supposed to mean? Who's sponsoring who? Gosh, you really are hopeless. There's no point in explaining it all over again. Why don't you just experience it yourselves? With the snap of the wrist, that Thanos snap. <laughs> Alright, just gonna show them notifications about them. Sick, sick. With the Dokawai snap. Yep, notifications, okay. Ominous in Reader, Episode 8, Chapter 2, The Protagonist, okay. Select Constellation. The selected constellation will be your reliable sponsor. Abyssal Black Flame Dragon, Demonic Judge of Fire, Secret of Plotter, Prisoner of the Golden Headband. I'm going with number four. I fuck with the name more. Hmm, four sponsors. Doja. Two strange options suddenly popped up. I don't know anything either. Just thinking of it as taking an aptitude test. Sangha was offered two sponsorships. I guess she's lucky too. The ones who provide support to us are the constellations. And now sponsor selection, one of the main events in TWSA has started. The sponsor selection in the system in which the constellation who watches through the Dokawai's channel chooses a human they like as their incarnation and the sponsor them. This is crazy. All right, so maybe a human, a dragon, I don't know, like a werewolf and something mystical. This is cool, okay. And in my case, four constellations want to sponsor me as their incarnation. Incarnation? What the fuck? But the constellations never reveal their true name. Considering their protagonist, the TWSA initially had five options, four isn't a small number at all. Using the hints and the nicknames like Abysmal, Demon, and Garden, we must try to deduce their identities ourselves. That's crazy. Well, it's a piece of cake for a reader of TWSA like me. Yep. So we need to figure out who's who then. Let's see. The Abyssal Black Flame Dragon. He's a powerful being that led Constellations Group Black Cloud. From what I recall, his true name was quite long. The incarnation of the sponsor receives additional boost to their power level. Considering the stamina and strength vital in the early scenarios, it would be smart to select them as my sponsor. Unfortunately, the benefits end there, so it's only good for the start. The more you use the constellation's power, the more you lose your senses. Eventually, you end up the psychotic killer, so like Nabun Kim. Usually, he supports edgelord attributes. Yeah, like him. Like him. I'm pretty sure he was the constellation who supported Nabun Kim in the novel, so why did he choose me? Because he survived, if anything. I don't know about him. I'll just put him on the hold for now. My second option is I'm amazed to see her on my list. Demonic Judge of Fire. Judging from the name, one could assume this constellation is demonic. Yeah, that's what I would think. But ironically, demons demonic but ironically, demonic means the constellation isn't a demon. The word fire and judge indicate the entity makes judgments through fire, which that that means she's actually an angel? I'm fucking with her, okay. Archangel Uriel. What? We're having angels and demons though? Okay. I remember someone chose this constellation as their sponsor in the novel. Uriel isn't a bad choice, but I'll explore my other options first. I thought you were going to give us a more rundown on her. 
Constellations of Absolute Good are powerful, but they impose strict restrictions on the ones they sponsor. Sounds about right. And the third, Secretive Plotter. Ah, uh, he's a mystic fool. Look, pretty, pretty dope. It's like a magician, I'm assuming. All right. I'm an avid reader of TWSA, but I've never seen this option before. If I read it more thoroughly, I could probably figure it out. It could be one of the constellations that we just mentioned. I'm certain that it's not a powerful being. Let's move on. This adjective sounds so feeble. This is, I thought you were going to know more, you know? Prisoner of the Golden Hand, I think. The last one. I can't believe the constellation made an offer already. See? I would have gone with him just because of the name. Prisoner of the Golden Headband. Prisoner, this constellation may sound negative at first, but you have to pay attention to the proper noun. Golden Headband. That's what I thought. You know, something golden. I was like, all right, cool. The smallest prison in the world. The owner of Mount Hugao, who lives with the pain of binding head shackles. The handsome monkey king with the golden gaze and fury. I said, like, yeah, told you. Monkey king right here. Pretty hard. The gray sage. Heavens equals Sun Wukong. That's pretty hard. One of the characters was sponsored by him in a novel. This was pretty hard. He has the power to crush hundreds of incarnations with a single swing of his staff and eradicate thousands of monsters with a large, with a single lightning bolt. This is pretty OP. I still remember that passage very clearly since the author emphasizes it so strongly. Why has such a powerful constellation shown an interest in me? Bro, get that one, my boy. If I choose the great sage, Heavens equal as my sponsors. Oh, he could pick two? Plants. What would they be picking then? Will I be able to beat him? Oh, and you guys don't need to worry about that fool, huh? The sponsor selection has ended. Okay, everyone, are you done? Ha uh, ha ha, wow. Someone has made a very interesting choice. Well, there will be many more opportunities to come. Well, since everyone is done selecting their sponsor, let's take a short break. I have to go prepare for the next scenario. I'll see you in 10 minutes. So I can book Kawai. Everyone, please gather around. Everybody has intent? Yeah. Hi, I'm Hyun Song Lee. Doja Kim. That's dope. I'm not sure if it's the right time to be saying this, but it's nice to meet you. As I said, I'm in the army. Ah, right, bro, we don't care about that right now. Doja's the man. Well, I should say I was in the army now. Yep. I'm assuming you can't get in touch with your unit. Yes. He has a strong grip. I shouldn't be surprised after all. He's the tanker in the early stages of uh, TWSA. So he's the guy with the big guns. I must recruit Hyun Song Lee. And Doja, thank you for what you did earlier. If it weren't for you, we'd probably be dead right now. Yeah. Even if we had survived through that method, we wouldn't deserve to live at humans no that's how hell you did it rookie oh my god someone terminate this dude doja you know who i am right yeah the fool that's in debt with his mercedes doja's not impressed yes me on song han excuse me you should call me mr han we're not at work right now for real dude if anything put him in the front you know so he could die first you little brat so you're not planning to come to work anymore where did you learn such bad manners? Bro, work is no more. And to be honest, I was pretty offended by your little stunt back there. If there were bugs you should have told me, how dare you just throw them? Shut up, Myung Hong. Facts, you ain't shit anymore, boy. What? Don't you see what's going on? Should I have let that punk hit you to make you come to your senses? Lou Doja, me no sa. Do you think that company even exists after everything that happened? Yup, that sea serpent. And he's, not, and he's not the only one who needs a wake-up call. Everyone here needs to come to their senses. As the cowboy said, this isn't a joke. I love how this was frozen in his song. He's like, ah, uh, you know, like, ah. Uh. But he had to survive, you know. I'm sure all of you realize what's going on by now. A game-like interface. You know, this is the same thing. Attribute windows and skills. Is there someone who still doesn't get what's going on? Yeah, it's like we're in a video game, right? Well, they're in a video game, not me. <laughs> it's the kind of thing I read about in the novels while covering the night shift. I, I still can't believe this is real. This was still frozen. This isn't a dream, right? Fortunately, this is not our reality. It's a good thing that at least one person is certain about what's going on. So what now? Do you have any ideas, Doja? Myon Song Lee has started to trust you. Your understanding of Hong Song Lee has increased. We have to get out of here. <laughs> all right, everybody's like, what? I fuck with the kid. Look at the kid. He's all right. I'll follow you, mister. And the sea surface is going to attack, I guess. Are you out of your mind, Doja? I think that's a bit. I also need to check on my unit. But I think it would be dangerous to leave the premise right now. Yeah, if we leave, we're going to get killed. Bro, you guys that stay there are going to get killed by the other guy. The other dude in the other train thing. But no, even Hyung Song is against it. I need to take him with me no matter what. Yep. Yep, and he's starting. I wonder who that fool is. What, are we moving on to the next scenario already? No, the cowboy hasn't even come back yet. That means the person on this side of the door is the sole survivor of the subway cabin 3707. All right. 
with some boots. It was quite obvious who that was. Oh, he is coming. Who is it? He looked at the people gathered at the Soviet cabin 3707. He couldn't feel the coldness of Spar. He promised himself not to make a mistake. He would do whatever it takes to achieve. People's faces were frozen in fear. He found no remorse. It would be over in a second. The true protagonist of the story. Oh, shit. We had to get out of here. What? But if we don't leave right now, we're all going to die before the next scenario. So he's the big honcho. Doja, we can't be sure that whatever is on the other side is a, the door is our enemy. Yeah, he knows because he read it. He's the survivor who killed all those people in the cabin. Yep. Do you still want to meet him? Yeah, exactly. Blank face. Get out of there. Let's find a way out of here. The door is broken. Damn it. This one won't open either. The invisible force field disappeared at the scenario ended. We just need to find a working door. This one's broken too. Among the eight doors in this cabin, we haven't checked three of them yet. Damn it. There has to be one door that works. Oh, he's going to pierce in. This is pretty badass. He opens it. Damn. Damn. I was, I was hoping. Guys, this shit's pretty good. You know, these last three episodes, pretty on point. I did not expect the Moon King to die. I thought he was going to be, you know, used. Or not used, but be in the squad for a while. And then these fools, like, kick him out or he dies. But it's cool. And I like the constellations. I like this cool thing. You know, the sponsorships. I hope they get the golden headband. That's pretty dope how he's the Monkey King. You know, that's that's pretty cool. And I'm wondering which sponsor everyone got. You know, Sonja, the Lieutenant, the boy, and that other fool. Um, it, it's going to be good. I, I can't wait. And I want to see how the protagonist looks. I think he's I think he looks like Doja because I remember from the the prologue or the intro the first episode chapter zero they kind of did look alike I think so if, if it's him or something like that I'll be a fucking trip but it's dope and then you know it's basically a game you get notifications you get coins and coins to boost up your attributes you know and then how Doja fucking leveled up from level one to level ten this is pretty cool you know I'm fucking new with heavy guys but guys let me know what you guys think down below about this so far. I just can't wait to see the protagonist. We saw so many shit so far. Fucking sea serpents, the Dukabai again, monsters, sponsorships. This is all good, you know. This is very intriguing to me, and I'm fucking with it, you know. And, you know, every Wednesday they're doing this shit, so it's, it's going to be fire, you know, reading this every week. And, guys, let me know what you guys think so far about these last three chapters. They've been on point personally for me. A lot of information and a lot of, you know, a lot of shit's happening, you know, and this is barely the introduction, so... And guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and it's Jaga Senpai signing out. Yeah!